anyways bad energy stay far away Welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you're new here, hi, hello. My name is Anissa and welcome. And the last time I saw you guys was actually the day before yesterday on Wednesday. So today is a Friday. Friday the... Um... I'm not sure what day it is. We've got loads of things to do this weekend, sort of, kind of. It's just gone past 11 o'clock. It's actually about to be 12 and I'm rushing to go and get my nails done. Well, not my nails done, get a pedicure because my feet are, yeah, the last pedicure has long grown out. I need a pedicure for tonight and also Sunday is whiz kids. I can't go to, it's impossible. Where's my keys? It's impossible. I cannot go to WizKids without a pedicure because, yeah, my my shit is towed up. I need that pedicure. Right, let's go. What do you guys think of my hair? I did it today. I've taken off the fringe wig. I'm going to put it back on this evening though, but what do you guys think? I love this brown colour. Pardon? Yes, cut them. Um, no, can you cut it down a lot, please? Yeah, thank you. Uh, a little bit more, please. Okay, so today I'm mixing business with pleasure, basically. So I'm having a cheeky little hotel stay with my boyfriend in a gorgeous hotel called the Pan Pacific London, I believe it is. This was the hotel that I was actually originally supposed to go to for my birthday. My boyfriend had booked in everything, but we weren't able to go. Check-in is at 3 p.m. Um, my train is at 3 p.m. So I'm going to get there for just before 4. So it is 1 o'clock now. So I've got a couple of hours to kind of get my shit together. I've kind of basically already packed. Oh, yeah, I said I was mixing big business with pleasure. So we're going there to like, you know, just having a relaxing night in in the hotel. But I decided that I would just take the opportunity to shoot some content in the hotel because I looked at the pictures and it's a really cool space with like a gorgeous backgrounds and an influencer has to influence and a content creator has to make content. And I've been slacking on making content. So I thought, you know what, this would be a perfect opportunity to create some content and get some pictures in so i've got a couple of outfits that i will show you guys i cannot wait for this kid i cannot wait to just catch a vibe obviously i'll be taking you guys with me so not to worry the first thing i need to do is respond to this email okay does anybody else have the sony camera and ha have any issues with the charger the charger was all fine before and now it literally just doesn't charge. I'm going to show you guys the outfits that I'm going to be taking pictures with, doing the content with. Three of these are actually sponsored paid ads that I actually have to do. The next dress we're taking is this beautiful pretty little thing dress which I had in my last pretty little thing haul. So it has this asymmetric detail so the buttons go diagonally basically and it's this gorgeous beautiful long navy blue midi dress. I think this will go really nicely with the fringe. I think so. So I plan to wear it with 
these green heels, which are also from Pretty Little Thing. I will link everything down below and wear it with my Gucci bag. So I'm thinking with this bag, I think would go really nicely. The next thing is this beautiful velvet ribbed, no, not ribbed, velvet cord. So it comes with the shirt and then it's got the matching trousers. I think this would go so nicely with my fringe outfit. This is from a brand called By Lua. And I'm planning to wear it with these heels that I got from Public Desire. I will also link them down below. And I'm thinking with my coach bag, all the feels, all the vibes, all the feels, all the vibes. The next outfit, like I was saying, is a very Instagram baddie outfit. I've seen all the TikTok girls wear this. So this is from a brand called Ribbed UK, black owned as well. The previous brand, the By Lua set, Lua, the velvet two piece was black owned as well. White ribbed kind of flared leggings almost and then this white vest top i was thinking to wear this outfit with this wig that i have on right now i think that would look yes i think this would look very cute not sure about what heels i should wear with this so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it put it in a suitcase anyway hey guys hello so just got to the hotel pan pacific and i've got a really got a really decent view absolutely lovely we weren't supposed to have double beds obviously only one bed but she said the room with the with only one bed left it was on the lower floor so i was like fine we'll just take this one gorgeous little room this is the entryway i've got a coffee machine and some things um, nice lovely robe which looks gorgeous slippers iron and then here is the bathroom Oh, we've got the big bath, and we've got the toilet, and then we've got the mirror. Okay, guys, so I'm in the, the bathroom. I'm going to off this wig and then put on my friend wig. And I do not work necessary. Okay, this is much better. The pool to chill, relax, and have some fun in the robes. And yeah, I look tired. My eyes are red. Did you press the floor? No. So I don't you just expect it. It just said there. You just expect it just to go. <laughs> Did you? To be awake, didn't you? guys and happy sunday um just excuse me while i do that just, a second. just for a second so today is actually sunday 
is it whiskey that day oh my gosh so let me okay that is pretty uh oh what's going on today is whiskey day today is whiskey day i've been cleaning my house and like kind of doing my sunday research i've cleaned up my old entire house love apart from this room so this room needs a hoover but i need to pick my suitcase up off the floor from yesterday last time i saw you guys was at the hotel i've been back home since yesterday um evening actually um after we went to the hotel went to go and eat and then um who's that that was peace i came home and i binge watched selling sunset all evening and then i started watching true story with kevin hart um but i fell asleep so i was watching it this morning however i needed to get up and clean and tidy my house so that is what i did i'm soon gonna get ready but i have some stuff to show you guys my coffee table oh my god guys my coffee table came i haven't put it together it's just in the box let me show you guys i don't know why i don't know why this box is so big so i'm hoping they just put in some extra packaging because this box is so big for no reason but my house is clean and tidy i mopped plates and dirty dishes right in the dishwasher everything is clean my room is clean um it's just my fun room so i'm gonna quickly hoover that got some pr stuff so i got this little goodie box from kate somerville so a big thank you to kate somerville for sending this out i didn't even know they was gonna send it so i got this kate somerville x foley kate glow i got this kate somerville dermal quench liquid lift i also got the resurfing overnight peel resurfacing overnight pill actually i also got the re recovery serum and last but not least the goat milk moisturizing cleanser and then i got a box from drunk elephant 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 and it's this brightening routine face value brightening routine so i believe it's like a kit and it's got different different things inside so it has all these different products inside and again i've never tried drunk elephant my sister has though and she says it's quite good so i'm excited to try that then i got sent this hair wax stick from a brand called nude hair so thank you guys for sending this out to me i love a good wax stick and my carrot hair one is actually finished so this will come in handy i got sent some bits from this guy there that i've just thrown on the floor here so the first little thing that i got is this two-piece skirt outfit so it comes with a midi knitted skirt in this beautiful brown color and then it's got the button details and a split on the side of the skirt and then the thing that i love the most about this cold is actually the top so it's a brown gorgeous knit top and it's got the asymmetric detail it's got a cutout and then the buttons going down here I ordered this and then after i ordered this i saw this on your bond victoria and it looks so nice on her however i don't know if it's going to suit me as well as it suits her i picked up this misguided uh coat it's this big teddy fluffy coat and a lot of you are always asking me about coats 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 so i thought this would be a gorgeous coat i got it in a size 12 I think I could have gone a size up as well. And then I picked up this beautiful cold set. So it's definitely Bottega inspired. If you know the Bottega cohort that there out that there is out there. I guess this is supposed to be a dupe. So it comes with the matching trousers, which are flared, and then it comes with the fitted shirt. I actually just wanted to see what this would look like. 
and how it was. Thank you to Misguided for sending those pieces out to me. Today is the 2nd of December and right now on the way to B and Q actually to go and pick up my Christmas tree. It's about yeah it's 3 30 in the afternoon and today is So I've been awake for quite some time actually. Last time I saw you guys was yesterday evening when I was putting up the Christmas tree and all of that jazz. So the Christmas tree is up and my coffee table has been built as well. Here we have the Christmas tree in all its glory. I need to tidy it up a little bit more, kind of make sure everything is looking as it should look but i absolutely love it i thought it was gonna be too small originally but i feel like it takes up the space perfectly i don't know whether i showed you guys this gorgeous no i didn't this gorgeous little star that i got from matalan and it actually lights up how cool is that and i got these gorgeous little baubles Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these. Let me zoom in so you guys can see them properly. Oh my god, how lovely. These were also from Matalan. They were three pound a pop, so a bit expensive, but I think they are totally worth it. The vibe that I'm going for on my Christmas tree is, I wouldn't say minimalistic, but I'm not doing the tinsel. I'm doing lights and baubles only and I don't want a whole load of baubles. So I'm actually going to buy some more decorations today. I feel like red decorations would go perfectly with the baubles I already have, and I'm going back to get some more of those as well. So let me show you my coffee table that came. It's absolutely perfect. It's stunning. What do we think? Let me turn off the light so you guys can see properly. What do we think? It's a lovely, gorgeous, like deep oak color. Is this oak? I'm not sure what color this is. However, I think it's perfect. Now I feel like there's too much green in the room. So I'm gonna figure out somewhere where to put that plant because I feel like it's taking up a little bit too much space. And then I also picked up this big booty vase from Matalan. Oh my God, how stunning is she? And I thought this is the most realistic one I've seen that looks like the actual brand. And it was £16 in Matalan. I'll try and link it for you guys down below. But I do believe it was sold out because I wanted to get it online. But Matalan sent me a notification, which I thought was rather funny. They sent me a notification basically to say that it's not in stock and it's never coming back in stock. So I should basically just forget about it. So I did until I went to my local Matalan and there it was sitting there. So I was like, I have to get it now. I have to clean up 
the kitchen and this living area because we had um pizza yesterday we ordered some dominoes um not really part of the keto diet i turned to my boyfriend and i was like this is the definition of relationship weight because neither you or i would be ordering this if it wasn't for the bad influence of each other i'm gonna clean up my kitchen clean up this living room wipe down this coffee table and yeah get started with the day i need to do some food shopping even though today's friday but might as well prepare for the next week there's no food in my house i showed you guys in a couple of vlogs ago the vlog that peace was in peace bought me a look fantastic advent calendar so i'm actually going to open that up with you guys Yeah, the look of that, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to use in these wipes. What am I supposed to use for this table? These are going to be temporary decorations. And um, so I'm going to order the new coffee table book I want today. I also saw some on AliExpress, which is like, you're probably thinking what the hell these are. But I'm going to order them and I'll show you guys. And then my... I just came back from the shops and I wanted to show you guys all the stuff that I picked up. I went to Superdrug and I picked up some restocks of my favourite body wash and cleanser. Body cleanser, body wash that I've been using recently and the cream as well. So this is the CeraVe SA Smoothing Cleanser for dry, rough and bumpy skin. I actually originally saw Makai using this and she said it was quite good. I think it was Makai. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to pick it up because I want my skin to be smooth. And I've been using it now for the last couple of months and I absolutely love it. So I bought two because they were doing buy one, get one, half off. So this usually lasts me like a couple of weeks, which is a bit annoying because for something so expensive, you'd think it lasts a little longer. So I bought one for my holidays and this smoothing cream. So this is going to be my little travel kit for my holidays. And then I picked up the big tub, which I'm going to leave at home. And this is the smoothing cream, which this has really, wow, when they say smooth, they meant it. This has really given me some results. Like when I take a shower and when I wash my skin, my skin feels physically a lot smoother and my skin just looks a lot um, even. And then I went to just one of these shops. I think, I'm not sure what the shop was called, but it was like just one of these decoration shops. And I bought some lights for the Christmas tree. So we're gonna decorate the Christmas tree tonight. And these are 200 mains operated LED lights. Picked up some other stuff. Yes, I do. Where is it? Um, then I picked up these Christmas decorations. So these are the baubles. So I'm going for red and gold on the Christmas tree. I didn't buy loads of them because I didn't want to flood the Christmas tree. So I bought red and gold. And these were £1 each from Poundland. I'm going to decorate the Christmas tree now. That is what we're going to do. And after that, I'm going to open the, what are those things called? The advent calendar with you guys. I was supposed to do that ages ago. So yeah, let's get to it. Maturity, and we don't keep it on the same. 
Christmas tree as you would have seen and I actually love it I just need to put a little bit more decorations on there for it to come all together so I'm gonna open my advent calendar with you guys I don't know why I'm whispering so today is the 3rd of December so let's open at number one um shout out to peace for getting me this actually um so yeah this is number one which is the kate somerville goat milk moisturizing cleanser very excited to try this number two is this wow color dream coat supernatural spray magically transforms the texture amazing humidity proofing powers i've seen all the white girlies rant and rave about this brand so i haven't really seen any black girls talk about it so i don't know give it a go okay number three which is today this is the illamasqua hydrating setting spray so let's open this see what it looks like this is what it looks like and then i have the pretty little thing beauty advent calendar so in day one and day two i got these lashes also can never have too many lashes and this is from a brand called land of the lashes and then i got this flick and stick adhesive eyeliner clear from lola's lashes so i think it's the lash glue that you can use as an eyeliner let's open day three skinny liquid eyeliner from ico and i absolutely love this eyeliner i think it was the last year's pretty little thing advent calendar or the year before that that put me onto ico eyeliner because i've never really tried it before and i got it in the advent calendar and absolutely loved it so I haven't tried the skinny one before i've tried the others so this would be definitely be good i also got some pr sent to me by i am swim studios i don't know if you guys remember them but they are the swimwear brand that i wore on holiday in ibiza i bought some swimwear from them and they've launched a winter collection i believe so she kindly sent me some stuff i didn't even know she was going to send this to me so this is the brand can you guys see swim studio ready to wear so she sent me this gorgeous absolutely stunning mesh bodysuit can you guys see the colors it's got some red and purple in there this is ever so pretty this was so nice and she sent me this gorgeous cardigan which is such a bit of me i love stuff like this and i usually wouldn't try something in this color but i'm so glad she sent this to me and it's this beautiful chunky knit cardigan but in this gorgeous print and i cannot wait to style this because just look at all the colors that are going on so beautiful I'll probably wear this with some leather trousers or some jeans. I'll definitely be wearing this cardigan. It's just so nice. I don't have anything like that in my wardrobe. So this is like definitely a one of a kind piece. So thank you so much to Swim Studios for sending that out. I'm actually starving Marvin. I don't know what to eat. I'm supposed to go to the shops, but he's decided to take a nap. But I wake up. Don't you want to eat? don't you want any don't you want any okay guys so there's this little task i actually wanted to do this kind of diy i'd actually seen it on a tiktok from the, a girl that i follow i love or she does like loads of like cool diy stuff so i was like okay cool i want to copy and do that so this is gonna be like a little holding table or vase kind of for my coffee table so yeah that's what we're gonna do so i went to asma to pick up the bits that i needed super glue and then i went to the b and q to pick up the spray paint and i also picked up more spray paint to finish 
that's where I also picked up more spray paint to finish spray painting my table in my bedroom. What we're gonna do this evening. So, it's basically I'm gonna create this like little holder thing. I don't know what to call it. I'll link the TikTok down below so you guys can have a watch. Um, I'll also show it. Yeah, a DIY vibe. Oh, man, TikTok, TikTok. They tricked me, tricked me, had me thinking of ten thousands of dollars. So I have put the super glue on it, and I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. So I just use this super glue. Log height, super glue, power gel, and I think it should be fine now. I accidentally went a bit too fast because I generally have no patience, I realized. So I needed to put the white paint first, but I thought that I wouldn't need to put the white paint because it's so this is what we've got so far this is how it's looking okay so this is what it's looking like now and then i'm gonna get the white spray paint so i just picked up the cheapest one this is painter's touch um, craft enamel premium quality fast drying acrylic spray paint so hopefully this does the job I'm just gonna okay I think that's okay. What we've got so far, I'm just gonna sit, let that sit and dry, and then we're gonna go over with this Rustonium Stone spray paint, and it has a textured effect. I'm gonna let that sit and dry, and then when it's dried, I'll be back. Hello my lovelies. Hi guys, long time no speak. I have been a really, really rubbish vlogger. I do apologize. I even feel a bit nervous coming on here because it's been quite some time. Yeah, today's Thursday. The last time you guys actually saw me was Saturday evening and today's Thursday. I have not vlogged since then. Um, I'm not really going to get into it too much, but just a lot of things have been going on and in my personal life and I really just didn't feel like being on camera this week. When you're going through stuff and when you're dealing with stuff that you don't want to necessarily share with the world and the internet, it's very hard to, um, yeah, it's very hard to continue because this is my job. Like, I have to put videos out, I have to vlog, I have to make content, I have to come on camera. And what happens on the days that you just don't feel like doing it? Like, you can give yourself days off. But if you want to take two weeks off, what if I don't want to vlog for a month? But I need to pay some bills. I just said today, like, I've been to the gym this morning, I'm feeling... I'm feeling good, so I thought, you know what, just F it, to hell with it, I'm just gonna vlog anyway and come and talk to you guys and when I vlog, I feel like sometimes like my mood does improve. Today's Thursday, I think it is past 12 o'clock, I have no idea because my phone is broken, well no, let me not exaggerate, my phone is not broken, my phone is in the repair shop because the camera lens broke. So the um, little glass thing that protects the lens just randomly broke. I think I dropped it. So I'm on my way to go and collect that because it has been fixed this morning. So yeah, let's go and do that. I'm wearing this coat from Nelly's studio. I absolutely love this coat. I actually even ordered another one, which I'll put in a haul. I keep on saying, promise you guys hauls, and then the hauls are not coming. So I do apologize, but they will be coming. But yeah, we're just gonna get on with the day, a kind of admin errands kind of day. So yeah, I'm wearing these glasses from Zara because I'm absolutely extra. 
Let's go.